As a Lady Vol fan, when you think of the words feisty, tenacious, and go-getter, the name Ray Burrell might come to mind. But Burrell didn't always have her eyes set on a career in basketball. I thought about playing in college for soccer for like growing up for the longest time. And then in high school around like sophomore year, I, I stopped playing soccer and just took strictly to basketball. Burrell got a late start in AAU and the Elite Youth Basketball League. But with the help of a former college basketball legend and NBA player, she made quick strides at becoming one of the top players in her class. I had a trainer, uh, Desmond Farmer. He actually played at USC. He was like the leading scorer there. I'm pretty sure he still holds that record. I trained with him like three times a week. So I mean, I feel like it prepared me, but I feel like I could have been more prepared and I kind of had to develop my game more like as I was here. When it came time for Ray to choose what college she would attend, she knew she wanted to be a part of the legacy that Pat Summit built. But what ultimately made her decision was something else. I have all my visits, watching their practice days, like the most intense practice, like I felt like I could fit into the team, like the most at this school. Burrell came to Tennessee with three other players, all of which had been selected to play in the 2018 McDonald's All-American Game. Ray had been nominated for the prestigious honor, but ultimately was not selected. I already knew like I wasn't probably going to be picked because I had came on the scene so late. So I knew that like I was going to have to work more, like way harder to prove myself and show like people what I can do. Burrell came in and made an immediate impact at UT. She was a spark off the bench her freshman year and towards the end of her sophomore season, landed a spot as a starter. Halfway through this season as a junior, she leads the team in scoring with 17.8 points per game. One of the things that I've been so proud of her, she's a great athlete and she has a great skill set, and she's really developed uh, maturity in her game. And I think that's where, you know, she she's as good as anybody. She can do anything and everything on the court and doing it with great size and great athleticism. I think she has a little bit to prove to people, and I think, I think she uses that as a driving force um, for her and, and how hard she works. I feel a sense of accomplishment, but like I'm not satisfied. Like I still want to bring more and show like show more that I can do, and I want to win. So I'm gonna do whatever I can to help the team win. Burrell, who at one time envisioned for herself a career in soccer, now has other hopes for her future. I want to hopefully eventually get drafted, maybe play overseas. Just see how far I can reach my potential to go play past college. Ray definitely has a career in basketball after, after college, but I think she still has a lot left uh, in college, in her collegiate career to prove and to, and to find success with. What's really exciting is the growth that we've already seen, but as her coach, just thinking about how to take that even one more level up, I'm, I'm really excited about her future as a Lady Ball.